You right there, people? This is just a little recap on this month's med so far. Um, obviously, this month I tried the Aurora Pedonius LA Confidential, the Pure Sun Farms Jet Fuel Gelato, the Pure Sun Farms Pink Kush, the Hexagon Avent Wedding Sunset, and the Samaya Mac. Basically, I'm probably happy with like three out of the five. Um, Maybe if I got a slightly fresher batch of the jet fuel gelato, I might have been happy with it. Um, to be honest though, it did not have no terps. I'm thinking maybe if I try a fresher batch, it might have some terps. Because a few people commented that it was actually quite stinky and tasty. But it literally, in the, in the bag, no terps. Grind it up, no terps. Smoke it, got to really, really concentrate to taste some really subtle terps. And... But, um, yeah, any bud, if it's good bud, should stink of its own, like, natural terps, what it's got, you know. And that one didn't have it, that jet fuel gelato. So, so I don't know whether it's just not a very stinky strain or whether I um got a really old, uh, dried out, dead batch. But, yeah, maybe I need to try another batch of it when there's a fresher batch or something, maybe. But that, I won't be getting another bit of that batch of it. Um... The pink kush was a totally different story. Still, not in your face, but when you open the bag, it's got a meaty, cushy smell, man. Like you, you expect that when you smoke, it, it's gonna like taste like star dog or chem dog or something, you know, like proper like meaty, savory, gassy, fuely, like creamy sort of dank. But it's mad because you smoke it and it's pure sweet and slightly creamy and earthy, like lavender. Yeah crazy it's a mad one pink kush like the way it smells and then the way it tastes like something completely different but you don't often find that usually a good green smells how it tastes and it tastes how it smells you know <laughs> so that's that's a mad one but i do really like that one because it's got quite a heavy effect same as the la confidential it's got quite a heavy effect but where it's still got a little bit of the sweetness to it it's not as effective to knock me out as the la confidential um, I know now that after about 8, 9 p.m., I need to just switch it up to just, just the LA Confidential or just actual Moroccan hash because that's got the terps I need to help knock me out, man. Yes, baby. Like, I know that um, earthy, uh, hashy sort of uh, terps is, uh, and creamy terps is what I need to knock me out. The slightest bit of fruit or... Um, lemon or sour or anything like that it will just keep me up and stimulate me too much and um yeah i don't need that with my extreme insomnia so it's literally moroccan hash or la confidential for me from now on after about 8 9 p.m because that gets me properly in the zone to uh get ready for sleep you know and um there you go <laughs> and um yeah, uh, the wedding sunset, I would say that's more of a lighter, happy, euphoric daytime green. And it's, a, it's very similar to the pink kush, but it's got a bit more cream going on in, in the turp profile. Um, I think the, uh, it really reminds me of like a strawberry milkshake or raspberry milkshake or something when um, I'm a... Uh, putting my nose like over the pot straight away as soon as you open the pot it's like bam like strawberry milkshake or something you know like really creamy and like fruity and that you know like, it's a really nice daytime one so yeah that will be a definite uh, one kept on there for daytime weed and it looks beautiful man like really frosty like yellow fuzzy frost um like almost black like purples on it man like it does look really pretty uh, like I say, that will be a nice daytime one for me. I'll, I'll get through it a bit quick though, because obviously it's a bit more lighter and euphoric and happy and really tasty. So I just kept chonging loads of it. But um, yeah, like I, I, I'm happy to say I'm not getting through the LA Confidential as quick or the pink. Well, the pink Kush I am near enough getting through as quick actually, because again it's a bit more tasty and a bit lighter. But yeah, the LA seems to be lasting me a little bit longer. Um, more satisfying more stronger indica sort of like effect to it ain't it um but uh yeah um 
It's a Moy Mac lacking in terps, like I say, and uh, it um it ain't got the full gravy, uh, creamy, gassy, fuely in your face stink like what Mac Cookies has got. Mac Cookies should be just like a proper like banging cookies from the street, where it's just you open the bag and it's like Poof, fuck it, it's, it's Thinks the place out of like fuely, gassy, creamy, dank turps, you know what I mean? Like, um, and yeah, that, that ain't got all them other things going on in there. It's just got the earth, the musk, and the sour. Ew, what's that, brother? And again, it was too sour for me in the end. I thought it weren't gonna be, but yeah, after consuming it for more than a couple of days or more than a few days. It was too sour for me, man. Like I'm really like fussy with sour and lemony greens. Like it's really like I've got a limit that I can handle, uh, and then yeah, if it's past that, it's too sour for me. It stimulates me too much. T just tastes like after puke or like acid reflux sort of flavour in my mouth. Sour green does, and lemony green, like, it's not enjoyable at all. Um, and plus it stimulates me too much and don't let me sleep. So, uh, yeah. Um, doubt I'll be getting that one again because it's not like the proper Mac I know. It's got a mouth coat in flavour still, but it's just like coating your mouth with earth, musk, and sour. So it's like, where's the cream and the fuel and the gas, you know? So, yeah, sorry to say that that one won't be kept again, but yeah, I will be probably ordering the LA Confidential again, definitely, the Wedding Sunset and the Pink Kush, and then I'll just try another, like, three or four other new strains each month as well, just, just so I've got a three safe ones to play it safe with, and then I can try a few new ones, and if I don't like them, it's not the end of the world then, because I've got something else that I know is going to, like, agree with me already. So, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm debating whether to order one or two new ones this month now or just wait until next month after the follow-up consultation and um, then get a new script in with these other few new ones that I want to try. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll let you guys know when I've uh, decided what's happening and um, yeah, I hope... Uh, this helped you with uh, my reviews and with my recap of all the strains after consuming them for like a week or so. Um, yeah, like I say, really getting on with the LA Confidential in the evening. Early evenings is a good time for the pink kush for me. And like daytime and morning is a good time for the uh, wedding sunset for me. And then yeah, the other two... Sorry, but they're going to be knocked off the prescription, I think, and make room for some other ones that look a bit more special and sound a bit more special to me. So, yeah, stay tuned for those ones anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how it goes financially and just see what's still available and what's still ain't. And, yeah, it might be this month or it might be next month now that I might be trying some different ones. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I might try. I might try and get at least one new strain to try this month, and then uh, save the rest of them that I want to try for next month, maybe to go with them other three that uh, I like from this month's prescription. But yeah, anyway, you lot take it easy and uh, take care, and I'll speak to you next time. All right, nice one. Take care.